I'm here with Sean, I'm here with Alex. Uh, <laughs> uh, Spurs have just lost 2-0 to Liverpool. 2-1. Oh, so you got back in it. Oh, I left the pub earlier. Um, I mean, your thoughts on the game? I mean, you started the season brightly and you've now lost two on the bounce. Uh, uh, what's, what, what's happening? Uh, I, th I think the World Cup's actually starting to take an effect. I think originally we had that momentum of all the players coming straight out of the World Cup. It was, it was looking good. Um, and now it's starting to take a toll. You can see, obviously, we're not not strengthen the squad over the summer. I think we start. you're starting to see the effects of that and I think you'll see it more as well in the next couple of months when we start playing Champions League football and the Cup football as well when we're playing what, three games a week at times. But you guys still have got quite a decent squad though. I mean, do, do you feel that that's an, uh, an, a valid excuse? I mean, it's a decent squad but, you know, realistically when you're comparing it to the, the top teams in England, like the so City, Liverpool, their, squads are, their squad depth is massive, you know, they take out Salah, they take out De Bruyne, Silva, Aguero, they've got top players coming in to replace them, you know, when you look at our squad, you take out Ali, take out Eriksen, take out Kane, who's coming in and really doing the damage, who's who's creating the goals, where, you know, I, I saw, I was reading about Craig Bellamy, I was saying earlier, yeah. Craig Bellamy saying that Pochettino's got to rest Kane, who do you play, you know? That's now, part of the that's, that's part of the that is part of the problem. Now, obviously, I mean, Spurs, there's always been there's been talk in the last couple of seasons about you guys challenging for the league. Do you think you, you know you, on on to, on the evidence of today's performance? Do you think you can go and challenge the likes of Man City's and compete with Liverpool this season? Well, to be fair, if you actually looked at the game, Liverpool didn't really deserve the win. Um, if you look at the actual overall um, play, Tottenham had the play and they had the game certainly in the half an hour um, of the first half. Uh, they were really on top. I think Liverpool were actually pretty lucky today. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Larissa, big miss. Larissa is, but to be fair, Vorm made a couple of cracking saves as well. So while you can say yes, Larissa is a miss, and sometimes when you have somebody like Larissa behind you, it helps the back four a lot more because you've got the confidence a lot yes. more, and you know there's a lot of trust more. Whereas obviously for Vorm, he's still he's still learning that. But hats off to Vorm. He played very well today and he kept us in the match even more so. Now, uh, I read an article somewhere where Ericsson said everyone wants to play like Spurs. I mean, are you happy for Spurs to continue the way they're playing but not challenging or not, not getting over the line as such? Because, I mean, we saw last season in the semi-final against Man United, didn't get over the line. This season, obviously, it's just begun. But, I mean, if you don't manage to win anything this season, it, do you feel like everyone... Well, your fans want to continue playing like Spurs or would you rather win ugly? I mean, that's one of them where you can say, you know, it's all well and good to say, yeah, OK, we haven't got the trophies, but you said the exact same at Liverpool. What have they done in the last four or five years? OK, they got to a Champions League final. But they lost that. But they got smashed. They got, they got absolutely smashed, smashed and they were outplayed. I, I still am a great believer in the way Tottenham play. Um, but they do need to have a lot more conviction as they get up front and really actually go for that goal. They need a little bit of the killer instinct, uh, but the way the flair and the way they play um, is still good, and I still think they're good enough to actually win a league. OK, so at the end of the day, even though, yes, we did lose today, we lost 2-1, but I don't think Liverpool, to me, they weren't league winners. Positive outlook. Any, any positives that you can take from, from this game? Um, I mean, it's good to see a lot of the players coming back, like Sasson obviously coming back from the Asian Cup, Wanyama back off injury, although he came on and he was he was poor, to be fair. But uh, Lamella came on, scored a goal, did well. Lucas Moura, again, he looked absolutely... I, I thought any time he got the ball or the ball was near and around him, he's so nippy, he's quick with his touches, he's, he's smart, he just he's direct. Um, and that's, you know, that's a big positive. I mean, even, even at the back... We didn't really look like they, they didn't really get in too much. They had a couple of chances, yeah. But we were the we were the making of our own downfall though, you know. The, the goal that they scored came from our mistakes. The Ericsson header back to Trippier trying to play safe and it, it you know, backfired. Came from what two corners really and sloppy goals. First one, they, I mean, they just stole it. With just went over the line. Um, I'd like to see how close that was because I know obviously we've got into it. But I think also on the positive side, what you've also got to remember today. Yes, we were two 0 down, and even you know, I kept thinking the last ten minutes, no way, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. But we never gave up. Yeah, they did. And so at the end of the day, even okay, we were. It was, and it was the right thing to have the additional five minutes. Mm -hmm. But we scored mm -hmm. in the in the extra time. We never used to do that. Yeah. We used to, you know, it's finished. Yeah, yeah. Pack your suitcase, let's go home. Well, I guess you guys dust yourself down and uh, on to the next one. 
Got to. And I think, and I think, the, I think the lads, the, the boys, are still good enough to be able to do that. And I think that's part of their good professionalism. Well, guys, thanks to you. Appreciate that. All the best. Take it easy. Take it easy. See you later. Okay.